What's going on, Gem and Knights? It's your boy, Gem Mint, back with another statue unboxing and review. And it's another Spider-Man villain. This is the Sideshow Collectibles Green Goblin Life-Size Bus. Stay tuned while we unbox and review this thing. I know what you guys are thinking. Gem, you just sold all your life-size bus. Why did you buy another life-size bust? What's going on? First of all, chill out. I'm going to need you to relax. This is my boy Adrian's piece. And actually, it's funny. Um, I knew that he had this piece, and I was considering getting it when I was uh, collecting my Marvel life-size bust. And somebody from uh, one of the Geminites, I think it was Josiah Josiah, hit me up like, Gem, do you know anyone selling a Green Goblin life-size bust? And I was like, well, matter of fact, I do. So I put the deal together, but I was like, in order for this to go down, I'm going to need to review that thing first. So that's why uh, I got the piece in the Gempire. Uh, dude's actually going to come through to pick it up today. So I wanted to knock this out and um, take a look at it. So let's do it. All right, y'all. Here's the art box for the Green Goblin life-size bus. Pretty uh, clean-looking white box with some art on it. Nothing too special. It does also have the uh, logo at the top. So it's big hood. Comes in on the top. All right, y'all, here he goes, the Green Goblin, Norman Osborn. It's one big solid piece. Before we get started, uh, let's do some background on the character. So the Green Goblin first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man 14. At the time, you didn't know who he was, and he just kind of uh, tried to put a little game together with the Enforcers. He was just a villain, and nobody knew who he was. It wasn't until Amazing Spider-Man 39, which is actually the first John Romita Spider-Man cover, to where we learn that the Green Goblin is Norman Osborn. Like all the other uh, Marvel life-size busts that I had, it um, it's pretty lightweight. You know, I always like to do the... But, you know, I don't really so much mind the lightweight. You know, then I'm not really nervous when it's on shelves or whatever. But uh, like those other pieces as well, it has a, a nameplate with the Green Goblin logo. It's got that solid black base. He's got his uh, goblin scales uh, suit, purple suit, nice uh, sculpture there. Um, they took a lot of creative liberties with this Green Goblin. I don't know that it so much looks comic related. It looks like you know the sculptor took his own interpretation. I mean, he looks like a goblin, no, uh, a goblin, no doubt about it. And I really like the paint. It's very, uh, it's neon green with like shadows of brown. His teeth and eyes are probably the uh, selling point of what really makes this piece stand out. It kind of reminds me of the Joker life-size bust with those teeth. Big yellow eyes, bald head, got the big elf ears. This is kind of like, uh, got padding in it and it feels like a pillow. Okay, and it's got magnets here. Let's see if we can put this hood on him. But it does feel like there's magnets in his cheeks. The hood really adds a lot of depth to him, man, because it gives him that whole like tail of a of a hat flowing back, and I like how it uh kind of stays up here, kind of springy like. Looks really cool. It gives it a little bit of mixed media. I don't think any of my life size bus had that. So it's definitely a a, a tight uh, life size bus. 
Too bad I didn't have it in time for Spider-Man Villains Week, huh? Let's go ahead and measure it at its highest point, the top of his head here. Uh, so he's 24 inches tall. So he looks good, man. Green Goblin, again, with these life-size busts, uh, there's only so much you could talk about it. I mean, his neck has some good details. It's got wrinkles and like creases that you would have on your neck. You can see his Adam's apple. You can see his ligaments in his neck going into his collarbone. I can see a little vein going on right here. Veins over here on the side of his neck. His chin actually has pores that you can see. Same with near his mustache and on his nose, like almost like he would have blackheads there. His nose is very realistic, man. They really uh, defined a lot of his nose. You know, what is Green Goblin's mask? Same with Scorpion. Like, is it a mask? But are those his teeth? Are those his eyes? Like, what's going on with this mask, right, y'all? Another green and purple villain from the uh, 60s. That's how you know who the bad guy was. He was always green and purple or one or the other. The hero was always red and blue. This was just the villain color, y'all. All right, y'all. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the life-size bus. Green Goblin, Norman Osborn. His son, Harry Osborn, followed in his uh, footsteps. And so did little Normie Osborn, uh, Norman's grandson, Harry's son. Uh, arguably one of Spider-Man's greatest villains. Uh, glad I was able to take a look at this piece. It's going to a new home. Shout out to Adrian for uh, hooking me up and letting me review it. And I was at his house today. He's got a dope setup, man. Gonna have to go over there and do a collector spotlight on your boy. All right, y'all. Thanks for checking it out. Y'all stay minty fresh. Peace. Peace.